Some six million young Americans ages 3 to 17 are diagnosed right now with ADHD. That's Attention Deficit Hyperactivity. It affects their behavior, their ability to study. Studies find that about 70% of them can improve their symptoms using stimulants such as Adderall. But now a disturbing trend among young Americans who do not have ADHD, but they're abusing the medication in order to sharpen their focus and perhaps improve their test taking at school. That has led to a spike in folks rushing to the ER. A study in the Journal of Clinical Psychiatry finds a 67% spike in ER visits by adults ages 18 to 25 who abuse the ADHD medications between the years 2006 and 2011. Many get their Adderall from family or friends, and some lie to fake out their doctor. Unfortunately, there's no test to diagnose ADHD, so it is mostly based on subjective interview. So patients could just come in and say they have trouble focusing or they're not doing as well in their work or school, and so doctors would want to try and help them out and may give them a prescription. If you truly are ADHD, you'll have one reaction to the medication. But if you're not, and you're taking it just to sharpen your mind for your studies, you could have a far different reaction. Adderall and similar generics are amphetamines. They actually can calm the behavior of someone with ADHD, helping them focus. Any medication can have unintended side effects, but if you take Adderall under false pretenses, not only can it jack you up, you may be more prone to dependency on it. Worst case could even be heart attacks, strokes, and high blood pressure. Adderall is nothing new on college campuses. It's been going on for a long time. Out in Silicon Valley, they call them smart drugs. There's no data to support it, but many believe it improves their test scores. People that have told me have said it has helped them study and perform better on tests. Yeah. You think they're aware there can be some harmful side effects, though? Oh, I'm sure they're aware. Yeah, everyone knows their side effects, but people not, don't necessarily care about it. <laughs> yes, I did try it once, and um, I, like, I did feel a little bit more concentrated and focused during my exam. But no ill effects? Uh, no. Your best bet, take no medication without a legitimate reason and a doctor recommendation. Now, taking a closer look at Adderall use, it was approved by the FTC in 1966. It's a combination of four amphetamine salts taken orally once or twice a day, approved for patients ages three and up. ADHD children usually become calmer, more organized, less stubborn and fidgety. Common side effects, though, can include restlessness, dizziness, insomnia, and headaches, but they can wear off in time. Doctors believe Adderall can have a high potential for abuse and addiction, especially among those who do not have ADHD.